More breaking news tonight now on increased security in the D.C. area after yesterday's terror attack in Canada. Tonight, ABC 7 has confirmed that the Metropolitan Police has increased security outside its stations in response to yesterday's terror attack in Canada. All of this as the FBI sends out a warning to the media that we may become the next targets. Stephen Sheeta is live at the D.C. Armory tonight with more on that and the new security measures for this weekend's Marine Corps Marathon as well. Stephen. Scott, the FBI has alerted the media that members of ISIL, the militant Muslim group in the Middle East, have called on sympathizers here in the U.S. to target television reporters, anchor people, and talk show hosts whom they consider unsympathetic to their cause. This says thousands of people arrive in D.C. for the Marine Corps Marathon are encountering ever-increasing security. <laughs> They got the traditional kickoff for the Marine Corps Marathon, but those running the race will confront tighter security this year. It's going to be a very safe race, and that makes me feel comfortable. Organizers of the race are working with seven different law enforcement agencies. A registration and information is dispensed inside the armory under tight scrutiny now. Also this year, for the first time, those running the 10K race will face a thorough screening on the National Mall. It's totally fenced in, what we call the bubble. Across the nation's capital, the shooting in Ottawa has spawned increased security. In front of D.C. police stations, we found police cruisers with lights on, while the FBI warned members of the media. ISIL has called on sympathizers in the U.S. to target members of the media. Their whole big goal is is, is to attack the media so that they can get their, their voice and, and their their opinions out there and uh, and really try to scare us. Aside from coordinating efforts with law enforcement, organizers of the marathon also are counting on help from the estimated 30,000 participants. Every runner now knows that they have a responsibility to be eyes on. Some running the marathon are confident security will keep them on track. Looking at the fine folks and the Marines around here, nope, we're in very good hands. Now, as far as that threat for members of the media here in the U.S., a spokesperson for the FBI says at this point it is a general threat. She knows of no specific journalist ISIL is targeting. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Okay, Stephen.